Okay. Thank you, Esmeralda. Welcome. Good morning, everybody. It's August 8th, 2022 at about 11.02. And this is the weekly meeting of the Sponsored Advisory Board uh, brought to you by the town of Nantucket and Zoom. Just want to remind everybody that if you're going to participate, uh, you are being recorded. And so let's get going. Uh, members, when I call your name, please respond. Uh, let's see, Hamid Durkis? Here. And Angus McLeod? Here. Thank you. Caroline Ellis? Here. Thank you. Do I see Mary Lathan Will? Not yet. Okay, well, uh, the chair declares I, uh, we have a quorum. And um, I'll take a motion for the uh, adoption of the agenda as presented on your screens. So Don't move. <laughs> second. <laughs> I hear a motion, a second, and all in favor say aye. 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 The ayes have it. Okay, item number one on the new business, 8 Bayberry Lane for a new full basement. I think that is the Ruddick house, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct. And that's the old house, is that right? The um, the, the parents' new house on the, the corner of Bayberry and Sankety. It's the newer house, Carol. Oh, the newer house. Okay. Yeah. I'm with you. I, I spent a couple winters in that house, and um, it currently it's sitting on uh, a crawl space kind of a foundation under part of the house. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh boy, they're doing the whole thing. Well, that's good, I guess. Yeah, well, it doesn't change anything that we're gonna see. No, it doesn't change a thing, apparently, except for an exterior stairway. That we wouldn't really see anyway. And maybe some window wells. Hopefully some window wells. Yep, there they are. I don't have any concerns if anybody else has it. No. No concerns. No concerns. <coughs> Excellent. We'll say the ground is a little damp up there. Did anybody ever visit the, the Florida house? No. No. Which was exactly the same house, but they reversed it. <laughs> and Susan said you'd get out of bed and you'd head in the wrong direction. Oh. <laughs> it just was funny. <laughs> that, that's that's delightful. Yes, thought it was a good good thing. <laughs> okay, um, moving on to sixty four Sankety Road for a pool and cabana. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's they're way in the back. Uh, just my initial uh, thought is that this is completely out of view, except for the except for the secret road in the back. Yeah, on that on that photograph there, um, that's the actual house. Yeah, mm -hmm. those are real. Yeah. yeah. Instead of lawn, they put in a, a meadow along their driveway. It's really interesting. Mm -hmm. Three cheers. So. 
So the look of the house, let's, yeah, that's, there we go. Fine. It's reminiscent of the main house. Yeah, that's the little, uh, uh, Come that, that Claire just built a couple of years ago. Okay. Mary Will, I'm gonna make sure it's being here, thank you. I don't have any concerns. It's in the back, it's gonna be invisible. I appreciate them citing it the way they did. I, I don't have any issues. No concerns. Else? No concerns, okay. I have no concerns, Mary. I have no concerns. That's great sighting. It backs up onto, I assume that land that's um, part sanctity and part descendants of Levi Coffin. Yeah. Correct. Okay, great. And, and I guess we're okay with the cabana as well. Isn't that? Yes. Uh, yes. Pool and cabana. Yeah, pool mm -hmm. and cabana. Yeah. Okay, great. And there was just to, I'm sorry, I was late. It took me a while to dig through all of Esmeralda's correspondence to find the right, <laughs> the right <laughs> connector. I, I'll work on that. Um, Julie Mead's thing was just as straightforward as it could be, right? Yes. Yes. But perfect. Just a, a basement, no change to perfect. the upper yep. house, except the stairwell. Yeah, and I've talked with her about why the basement's required. So yeah, I totally get it. Not a problem. More room for the mice. <laughs> Sorry? I said more room for the mice. Yeah, well, there is that, but. Okay, let's, uh, I see up on the screen, we've got um, nine beach, is that it? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is, I was worried about anything else happening on Beach Street, but remember, this is the house that really, while it addresses Beach Street, it really identifies as Codfish Park Road looking towards the ocean. Mm -hmm. Isn't it House of um, Leap of Faith or am I wrong? Uh, I don't know if that's what it's called. It was once the Stiglmeyer's house, Roberta Brown's, we've looked at it before because she's done a bunch of little additions or little things like, you know, a, a shed or a shed or something like that. But she added a mud room. That was it. Yep. Yeah. So that is Leap of Faith. I didn't know that's what it was called. What a, that's a great name. It has, it has the upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. This, the mud room got added to the left there. Correct. And this is the side which faces Codfish Park Road. Yeah. And it's it, parking is in the front. Yeah. But I don't know if the parking belongs to her or somebody else. But anyway, yeah. Her parking's on the side, Connie. Her parking is on the is on Beach Street. Right. And there's a good <laughs> and this addition is in the uh, northwest corner. Mm -hmm. Looks like, yep. This is Angus. I think that it's a sensitive um, addition. It's one story. It's a shed. It's on the back. It's all the things that you want with an addition. Uh, my only concern was the placement of the windows on the north elevation. They just look a little bit wonky with the existing windows. Um, oh, I see what you mean. So that's the only thing. I, I don't know if they could just be six lights in, in line with the lower sash of the up of that higher window or I don't know. That was the only thing that seemed kind of funky. Yeah, to that me. looks wonky too, but um, I, I just, I'm just guessing, but are those windows actually kind of right up against a hedge? I would think that there's not much land left there. And would those windows even be seen anywhere other than in, from inside? No. That's a good question. Everything's sort of closely nestled in there. 
And so as I'm reading this, five feet from the property line is that dotted line. And then there's, why is that a, I don't know what that is. <laughs> that, that, so you go down the dotted line and you see a little rectangle that's right at the dotted line. What is that? Match existing windows and doors painted by, I guess we have to go to the west side to see what that is. Oh, okay. So that's up against the west side which yeah. is five feet off the. Yeah, that's that's within just within the setback. Mm -hmm. I think that might have been a dimension line you you were looking at mm -hmm. uh, on that other elevation. Yeah, or a fascia board along the bottom or something. But that's so there are the windows and doors on the west side. So that's all that's new is the north side and the west side. Bit of a well, it's a it's a little wart that's get, getting added to the house. It's it's actually remarkable you could even add this much to that house given its small footprint. Yeah. And inside, it's just making the kitchen bigger and the living room. And didn't it give them a living room that they didn't really have? Well, I don't know. It's one hundred and seventy feet is the addition size. Heavens. <laughs> but the main house is very small, so it, that's a lot of square footage for them. Yeah, great. Okay, everybody, any other comments? Uh, no, I mean, I, I think this looks tasteful and nice, but it's just another, another addition to Codfish Park, which is getting very crowded. Yeah, this at least seems in keeping with the kind of crowd that one expects in Codfish Park. I mean, the old Codfish Park as we knew it. I mean, it, it's sensitive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very much so. Okay, great. Any other comments? No, just I thank Brenda for coming. Thank you. Yeah, thank, you. <laughs> wow. thank you, thank you, Brenda. Okay. Uh, there's isn't any more uh, further business. Uh, I'm sorry, my audio. I'm fighting with the, with the fan here in my dining room. <laughs> um, okay, well then I'll entertain a motion for approval of our comments for today's meeting. I'll make Move. that motion. Second. I hear a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I think the ayes have it. And then uh, at 11.14, I will take a motion for adjournment. Oh, so good. Uh, so moved, Caroline. Second. Okay. Yeah. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you, everybody, all so much. Motion made and second. This meeting is adjourned. And that was a total of 13 minutes. Record time. Record time. <laughs>